Welcome back to the channel everyone, I hope you are doing absolutely well, this is AD back with another video. So today it's gonna be the review of the Evolution X ROM based on Android 9.0 Pi for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So without any further ado, let's now get started. So here is my Redmi Note 5 Pro running the Evolution X ROM. Let me first show you the about device section, so going into the about phone and the Android version. As you can see, it's the Evolution X ROM based on Android 9.0 Pi, the latest from Google. So talking about the security patch, it's of July 2019, as you can see 5th of July 2019, that's really good. The kernel here is again the ice cold R5 kernel version is 4.4.153. We have seen this kernel on the Stack OS 2, which I reviewed recently. Link is in the description or just check my channel. The build number here, it says Evolution X and the build date is 8th of July 2019. And this is the latest build at least at the time of recording this video. And it's the official ROM for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So you will get system updates too. So going into the system, as you can see the system updater, let me enable Wi-Fi really quick and check for updates if any. As you can see, it says no new updates found. Talking about the customization options, as you can see here are all the customization options. It comes with pretty much all the major customization over here. Going into the power menu, advanced restart comes pre-enabled. I didn't enable that as you can see. And talking about other stuff, going into the navigation. Let me show you navigation first. Here it is, you can customize the navigation bar. You can also enable one-handed mode. Hardware buttons, you can customize these, the volume rockers and the power key. And all these customizations are pretty much similar to the older ROMs guys which I have reviewed like the Stag OS etc. You can just check my channel. I'm not gonna go into this again. So talking about other stuff like the digital well-being, it's present over here and it's working absolutely well and it's also showing that graph that's really nice. So going into the security and location, fingerprint scanner is working absolutely well in this ROM. As you can see, no any issues whatsoever. It recognizes every time as you can see and it's fast enough. No any issues with the fingerprint in this ROM at least. Location also works fine, no issues with that. And going into the display option, all the standard stuff is present like the double tap to wake. Let me show you that. As you can see, double tap to wake is working fine, but it doesn't give any haptic feedback. So when you double tap on the screen like this, it doesn't give you haptic feedback, that's it, but not a big deal. Ambient display always on option comes pre-enabled guys. Make sure you disable that, else it will drain a little bit more battery. Device theme etc can also be changed, nightlight is also there, works absolutely well. So let me show you my last Android score really quick and talk about performance in this room a little bit. So going into the benchmark, I've got a score of 1,16,926 as you can see. So if you want further details, pause the screen and have a look at it. Here it is. So guys, when I first ran Android, I got a score of somewhere around 1,16,500 and I had some doubts that's because from past 3 videos, whenever I review Antutu, 2 I am getting similar score, at least it's surpassing 1,16,500, that's why I ran Antutu 2 again, but after I ran it second time, I got this score, I might get a higher score or lower score third time, I'm not sure, but talking about general performance guys, no any issues whatsoever in this room, it's working absolutely well, even if you keep lots and lots of apps in the memory, there aren't any lags whatsoever in the system, it's working fine and it's smooth for most of the part. So talking about the PUBG gameplay, PUBG was also running absolutely well in this room. I didn't had any lags or hiccups whatsoever while playing PUBG. There were no any minor lags too while playing. But yeah, in extended gaming, there were slight lags here and there. But again, I'm telling you guys, it's not because of the room. It is same in almost all other rooms. So talking about the battery life till now. So let me show you the battery. Okay, need to battery life. As you can see, nope, nope, I'm sorry. I don't want to reset that battery usage okay as you can see here is my battery usage when i first booted a room the device was somewhere around 99 percent of charge 99 to 98 percent of charge later on i played pubg i watched youtube videos etc i played pubg for around exactly 43 minutes and for 43 minutes of gameplay it had just drained 14 percent of battery which is really amazing because I have seen other ROMs which used to drain at least around 12% of battery for half an hour of gameplay but with this ROM for 43 minutes of gameplay it had just drained 14% of battery that's really nice and the gameplay was also really good no any issues with that. Talking about YouTube, I played YouTube videos for around 10 minutes and there the battery drain was somewhere around 4% not more than that. Later on for a couple of mixed usage it is down to 73% now. I cannot comment about the standby time right now because I need to test it further. I will have a screenshot on my Instagram stories. Do follow me on Instagram. It's all about technology 24 into 7. Link is in the description or it's appearing somewhere over here. 
I also share this screenshot in the Telegram channel. My Telegram channel link is in the description. Do join the Telegram channel too. There are developers and all other users. You can discuss about ROM reviews and technology basically etc. Until now the battery life is fairly good in this ROM. I don't have anything to complain about the battery life right now. I'll have further details as I told you earlier. So talking about the camera application, let me show you the camera app really quick. As you can see, here is the MIUI camera app, which we have seen in all other ROMs too. AI camera, HDR, etc. is working absolutely well. No issues with anything with the camera app too. So this was a quick little review of the Evolution X ROM running on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also do follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'm active over there. You can ask me any questions regarding tech. This is all about technology 2027. Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.